I guess. Okay, I'll, yeah, this is a continuation here. All right, this is a continuation. All right, kid. Yeah, um, again, Omo, I'm here for a special reason. Not only am I here to make all this religion supreme, but to make you a partner of Ola. Uh, and though I've been telling you to preach that Ola is only one Ola, and that partnering with Al is, Al is unforgivable and the worst of sins, uh, worse than rape, murder, genocide, even even pork, you name it. Cotton made a gulping sound and asked, Are you sure you are from Allah? The yellow glowing-eyed thing that called itself Jibril paused. Its teeth glistened t t and lit up the ca cavern darkness when it smiled to the question, saying, Um, uh, you got me. You got me, Mo. Y you got me. I, I can't lie here anymore. Uh, truthfully, there really is no Allah. I, Jibril, am Allah. I I've been Allah all the time, or more to the point, the spirit of Allah. When I handed down the Quran that says it takes 50,000 years for me and the angels to ascend up to Allah, uh, I lied. I, uh, for, for one thing, how could I and the angels report to Allah what people are doing here on earth in one day if it takes 50,000 years for me and the angels to ascend up to Allah? Hey. What, what can I say? I, I was testing you to see if you'd catch such idiocy. I had no idea that you'd actually make it a part of the Quran. Sheesh. No way in hellfire. But, but, but shockers of shockers, you did. Thus, that is one of the reasons why I'm here. I mean, if that scripture in the Quran was true, well, wouldn't that mean I nearly, wouldn't that mean I had nearly 50,000 years to, to get another revelation from all of us and back down to you? Think, you chucklehead, you think. Anyway, I've always been Allah, and I always will be Allah. Why, why do you think I have in the Quran saying I and the Spirit uh, to be blowing or breathing its spirit into Mary's Farjaha vagina to get her pregnant with a son, Jesus, of whom I deny fathering, even though I, Allah, got her pregnant with Jesus? Huh? Because we are the same angelic thing. That's why. Well, I, I was just playing with you, with you, Mo, I testing your intelligence to see how inquisitive you were by wondering why I have the one God always calling itself we, or our, or us, when shirk is the worst of sins in the entire universe. Or, of, of why I'd be having all of use the royal we, as, as we call it, uh, as, as they will call it uh, centuries from now, when partnering with Al is unpardonable. Hey, again. I was testing you, Mo, to see when you'd put two and two together and ask me why in the hellfire a god who hates Shirk more than anything would be saying such stupid crazy crap with calling himself, calling myself, our and we for describing myself. Uh, apparently you, being the fine genius of inquiry, uh, aren't that inquisitive after all. Oh, speaking of dunces, um, Mo, centuries from now things go wrong for my religion, Islam. They go south big time, making all my plans to rule the universe come to a screeching halt no matter how much I say be. Which is why I've decided to show up to you in physical form yet again. But this time without the long python tail to squeeze you to near death. Um, sorry I scared you for you, uh, scared your favorite goat up here, but I, I had to meet with you alone. Thus, I had to call your goat up here, into your favorite, into your favorite place of creepy darkness, send you up here to see if I can change time and make all his religion, our religion, victorious when people get a little smarter and know how the universe works. For in the time where I come from, oh, well, guess what? There's no Islam. Not one mention of it. Zero. The closest thing to it is a stupid Klingon cult that believes planet Klingon is flat. Shrieked the being with fury. Cotton, the feature Muhammad, trembled. The other, the glowing-eyed being with the glowing white teeth, went on and said, "After stopping off in the early 21st century, I can certainly see now where things went wrong, Omo. Of just why my religion fell apart on this plant on this planet, you t yeah, 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 took off so successfully in the Delta Quadrant of this galaxy." The reason why it fell apart, the reason why the, the reason why they fell apart here 
and Islam became extinct rather than thrived in the Delta Quadrant is because, again, I miscalculated your intelligence. I, I mean, I really miscalculated big time. I thought you were joking when you said you couldn't read. I mean, a 40-year-old man not able to read nor write? Wow, I, I thought you had to be joking that you, a camel salesman, couldn't possibly be, be so stupid. Thus, the reason why I was squeezing you to near death the last time I was in this place with you. Well, apparently, you really weren't joking. You really are a true blue moron of the major kind. Thus, the reason why you never asked me about why all the nutty we and our and us when at the same time I, Alla, hates partnering to the point of psychotic damning insanity. Had I known at the time you were so vacuous, I would never have picked you as a messenger and would have picked someone smart enough who could read and write and not to be dependent on Jews to do the writing of the Quran for you. Yes, that's right, they are Jews. Yet, yet they are so afraid you'll put hot pieces of metal in their eyes and take off their hands and feet to let, leave them to die in the sun without water like you did to those other guys that they just act like they love you and say you are cool. Anyway, I would have picked a woman even though they are uh, deficient in intelligence like you say in the Hadith. I mean, I mean, hey, you make the average woman look like a rocket scientist a term that will be used sometime near some so many centuries from now but you know i think it's funny that centuries from now so many people will be unknowingly worshiping the the <laughs> well well unknowingly uh worshiping a complete and utter moron thus i've decided to keep you as my messenger after all the glowing white teeth of the yellow glowing eyed being became many as the being smiled and burst into laughter. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I'll, I'll not replace you with a woman. Uh, I will not replace you with a woman. Nor even a uh, talking robot goat, which I almost did when, when rocking out to my favorite heavy metal band off the horn of Orion. I'll just have to watch you for a while and see if this drug I designed for you does the job. The being reached into its black metal pocket and pulled out a pill that shined and glowed in the dark, almost as bright as its teeth. What's that? asked a shaky cotton. It's a drug that will unlock the doorway of your the doorways of your mind and make it so you can use all of your brain, giving you the power of average intelligence. I know, I know. I know, I know. It's, 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 it's more, it, it, it needs more work, but it should make it so I can teach you in such an, a way to make my religion supreme. Once I give you this pill, you will no longer have to let the Jews dictate whatever I hand down to you. No longer will I have to worry, uh, worry about whatever idiocy the internet might reveal about me later when it does, like it does now for you will no longer be the moron you clearly are. What's a moron? asked Cotton timidly. The glowing eyed being got Cotton in a headlock and started giving him noogies on his head saying, that's what you are. <laughs> You're my little moron. You're my little moron, you. You're just not very bright at all, which again, I think is funny. So I'm keeping you. I'm, I'm not putting my hand on your head and crushing you crushing it like it's a jelly donut after all. Oh no, I'm keeping you. I just need to be more clear t with you and hope that, pi that this pill works on your chemistry like my ship's computer and calculated. Suddenly the being shoved the glowing pill, pill down Cotton's throat, nearly making comet, co Cotton vomit. As Cotton gasped and nearly choked, the being let go and said, well, as I was saying, I really underestimated. I really underestimated you. When I stopped off in the 20th century to see if fleets of Kabas would be flying about this part of the galaxy, spreading my, I, I mean, our religion by making people submit or perish, like I now have uh, something similar going on in the Delta Quadrant of this galaxy. Well, I knew something really went off course. What happened was, was that in the last part of the 20th century. A thing called the internet came, uh, comes into existence, and along with it, knowledge at one's fingertips. 
with it, people who aren't that who aren't even that bright are able to say the words I was telling you to recite back in this century. I had no idea you would only listen to the promise of of sex and threats of eternal uh, damnation from me if you and our followers did, didn't obey Quran 9, 111, 38, and 39 and die killing for me. I, I mean us, you know. Quran 9, 111, 38, and 39? Asked ask Cotton. The, the thing that uh, told the thing that told Cotton to call himself Jibril laughed and said, "I haven't sent it down to you yet. I haven't sent it down to you yet. But when I eventually do, it should actually be Quran. It should actually be. Oops, something happened here. Oh yeah, it should actually be Quran 114." the last chapter of our book. For it's the declaration of war on anyone who doesn't worship my Kaaba and Blackstone five times a day and doesn't and and, 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 and doesn't pay the Jizya tax with uh, called the and doesn't call the doesn't pay the doesn't pay the high tax called Jizya if they don't worship it or me. Yeah. Seeing the fear in Cotton's eyes, the thing that called itself Jibril said, I read the whole Quran yesterday in, Mos in a Moscow apartment and was shocked to see how much of your stupid 7th century outlook still managed to find its way into our little Quran, into our little old Quran. Did you really think the words I was telling you confirmed the Bible? Really? You really thought so? Jibril laughed out loud. Cotton detected a mixture of pain with the laughter. The being suddenly got to cop oh, you know something, I better, I better, is this, I think I've gotten too far. Oh yeah, I've got to, I've got to.